Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing like my everyday running out semi-glam errands, girls day kind of look. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of girls days. So <laughs> um, normally when I'm going out, like um, I just like to do something where I'm like a little bit cute, but like I'm not doing too much. So I'm just wearing like a medium coverage foundation, a little bit of concealer, some lashes. Um, I try not to put too much shadow on. So you guys will see that in the video. I just like how clean it looks. It doesn't look like it's too, too much, um, but still glam enough for the daytime because we are going um, shopping and we're going to... Um, the movies and we're going to dinner so yeah so i just thought this would be like a cute like little look i'm just wearing like a little um hoodie and i'm just wearing some um tna leggings so yeah that's just kind of a look i have a very stale blowout from sunday sunday i did my hair today is wednesday so i just did a little bit of dry shampoo to kind of like zhuzh it up a little bit you know what i mean so um i didn't put on any earrings i should put on some earrings hmm should i do some Little. No, I think I'm going to do no earrings. I'm just going to put on a little for a coat because it's a little cold outside, some Uggs. So just keep it like cute and like casual, you know what I mean? So like cute vibes. Um, so yeah, guys, if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, Um, I am just going to start off with priming. I'm only going to use one primer today. I'm going to be using the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. Just looks like that. Just going to go ahead... I still like to prime even if I'm just doing like a light um, makeup day. This is kind of like if I just want to be cute and like a little put together, but not like super glam. So that was the primer. And then next I'm going to go into um, foundation. Um, I'm going to be using the House Labs, House Labs in the color 210 medium light neutral so you guys i realized that in my last video that i kept saying girly so much and i say it so much when i'm like talking to like my friends and my family i realized that i say that word so much and i was kind of a little annoyed of myself in the last video but you know is what it is here we are um, I'm just going to be taking my MAC 132S. I'm just going to be taking this on a stipple brush because I'm just going to kind of like lightly spread it around and then I'm going to blend that all out. Because when I'm running errands, I don't like to wear too, too much foundation. And maybe this might be a lot for certain people, but like this for me is like light work. You know what I mean? Um... But yeah, like I said, I, I noticed I keep saying girly so much. I'm like, I'm a dry skin girly and like, I'm a full coverage girly and like, <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, hopefully we don't say girly too much in this uh, video. But um, also you guys, um, I started to <laughs> pre-film my, um, my unboxing for skin. So I have like the palette. I have, I don't even know how many I have here, but I have like the lip liner and I have three of the lipsticks. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that. I actually had started, um, but um, you know, I'm really OCD. So um, my nails are obviously different now. Um, so I, in the video, my nails were black when I had started. Okay. And that day when I started filming, like the beginning of it, I had, um, I had just received the package that day. So, um, I was like, oh, like, let me do like my first impressions. I'm going to go do a little bit of glam and kind of start filming. Then I get, so that, so the day before, was it the day before or was it the day of? No, that day I went to go get two of my nails fixed because this these two were peeling off, which is so weird, like rare because I'm like, that never happens to me with my shellac. And it started peeling. So she told me to come in that morning. I went in that morning. Does another nail start peeling? And I'm like, ew, like I cannot have crusty nails for my video. So yeah, I'm gonna redo um that video again i think i'm still gonna keep the first impressions up but um 
I, I think like the makeup portion I'm going to uh, redo and I also didn't like the way that my makeup came out and the way that I did it so yeah we just need to redo that so this is my base I'm just like making sure everything's blended because when you use a brush sometimes you can get like a little streaky so yeah like you can still see like I have like a little pimple there like you can still kind of see my skin but like not so much because I wanted to do like a light to medium light coverage so that is that i thought i was filming and i wasn't but um i'm just using my tarte shape tape i'm using the color 22n and the color 16n so i just have 22 on the outer and then 16 on the inner and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out um it looks like a lot of concealer but it's really not to be quite honest with you guys um it's going to shear out and of course obviously using a beauty blender everything kind of like shears out you know what i mean so um yeah but i think today um i'm gonna use um the kkw liners um for my lip combo today i mean i don't know what my lip combo is gonna be but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna use that for my lip combo um just a little spoiler alert i do like the liners but they're not the exact same as the KKW. Um, I find that the KKW, sorry guys, I'm just looking at two different mirrors. I find that the KKW is just a little bit more creamier. Like these are good, um, but I find the KKW way more creamier. So if you guys just heard me kind of burp a little bit or you heard my stomach, my apologies. Concealer makes the world of difference. I love concealer just like you just look so like just like flawless and like smooth you know but um i don't know i feel so like weird today i don't know why i'm not like super chatty like i just feel like my mind's like a little full i'm just gonna put some concealer on that little pimple there um i don't know i think my mind is just like full and there's so many things going on that i'm like i don't know why i don't feel super chatty but <laughs> Yeah, um, let me grab my powder and then I'll be back to set and do the rest of my face with you guys. So I'm going in with the Pound Cake by Huda Beauty, the powder. Um, I'm not using um, one of my like triangle puffs today um, because when I'm running errands and I'm kind of rushing, I kind of just like dip my beauty blender into it. So I'm just gonna look up, dip and then kind of set and not like when i stretch my face it just kind of stretches all those lines like from my under eye so i'm just kind of making sure like everything is set really well and i'm going to push this into my pores and into the corner of my nose where sometimes i can get a little bit of build up so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then i'm going to do the next side as well so i'm not baking my under eyes i'm just kind of putting the powder there and kind of pushing it into the skin um, I don't want it to, um, bake because I don't want, I don't want it to look like I have on a lot of powder. At night, you see, I don't really care at night because I'm like nighttime, it's really hard to kind of see all of that up, up close and personal. So yeah, I really don't really care about like nighttime, but during the day, I just don't want to put too much powder to be baking and yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my milk matte loose setting powder it's the blur and set i'm just gonna take the butt of my beauty blender and i'm just gonna kind of same thing push that powder into my skin sometimes i like to cream contour during the day sometimes i don't just kind of depends but uh yeah and i didn't mix any of my foundations today i only did one you guys haven't seen me mix any of my foundations yet but i love mixing foundations it's just like my thing um I feel really low energy. I feel like I need an iced coffee or something to kind of like wake me up because I'm like, girl, come on. So yeah, so what I like to do is just kind of push that translucent powder. So what it does is that it sets all that wet foundation. So then I'm, it's easier for me to go in with a powder foundation because I love powder foundation. I think I told you guys this in my last video. Like I have so many colors because I like them to do different things. I use them for bronzing, for contouring, for highlighting, for my skin tone, for, you know, so on and so forth. So I am going to go in with my, actually, I don't want to use this one today. I think I'm going to use this one because I want a little bit more of a lighter coverage. This is the Real Techniques 
I can't even talk today. Real Techniques 201 brush just looks like that. And I'm going to be going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder in the color NC20 because this is my um, light shade. And I'm just going to kind of dust that all over. And just make sure, yeah, my skin looks really nice today. I'm not like really wearing too, too much, but just like a little something, something, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead, dust this all over. And then I'm leaving the under eye alone because I'm going to go in with another powder for my under eye. And I find that when you use um bigger, like looser brushes, I feel like it's not as full coverage. So I like that. Um, But it still adds like a little bit of like something, something, you know? So I'm going to go ahead, do that. And then next I'm going to go in with my uh, Chanel Precision Powder number 107. And I'm going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NW10. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm just going to kind of brush that a little bit underneath my eye. So it kind of gives me that brightness, but I'm not like baking it on because normally when i'm going out at night i'll use like my beauty blender or i like to use one of those like triangle puffs um and i like to just pack on the powder on my under eye um i'm gonna set my face in the end so i'm not gonna look so powdery but i love i love like layering my powders and stuff because i feel like you can actually see the definition of it and it's daytime so like there's no need for me to go in with like a cream contour. I do do it sometimes. I would say mainly in the summer I do it during the day. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing like a little bit so you guys can kind of see some brightness to my face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of go over my eye. Hopefully I'm not shifting my contacts too much because um, I don't want it to shift in my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of my NC20 and then I'm going to go ahead and... I'm um, sorry, I just got a phone call. I'm going to just take a little bit of that on my eye. And yeah, just so I can have like a little bit of a base there. And then just make sure that like everything is nice and bright under my eyes. And just make sure I'm like not creasing. Wow, I really need some under eye filler again. But let me do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So guys, my brows are done. Um, But um. This was the only palette that was in front of me. It's the skin one. So I'm just doing something really quick and easy. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to go in with this color right here. Now, the way that the numbers are set up, I'm going to assume that this is number three. Um, I'm just going to dip into that with my um, Morphe M533. And I'm just going to pull my eye a little bit. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. Also, guys, my brows are done, as you guys can tell. I just did like a very like feathery brow with some brow powder um just to make them look a little bit more on the natural side and yeah so i'm just doing that and guys i did a little um brown wing with my um shadow look i'm just doing a light shadow look this is how I like I like to look when I'm like running an errand and I know that I'm going out after. I forgot to specify that. So I'm actually going out a little bit later. Um, I'm going to the movies with some friends. So I want to look a little cute and put together, but something that will go with like me wearing leggings and a hoodie. You know what I mean? So yeah, just doing that. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this color right here. And I'm gonna assume this is number two. I'm gonna stick a little bit of that. And this is the Morphe V204. And I just tapped off a little bit of the excess and just to kind of like blend those edges. Guys, this is the simplest look ever. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to take this Morphe Jeffree Star Collab in JS6, just like a little brush like this. And I'm just going to go into this cream color here, number four, I'm assuming, just from like where it's at. And I'm just going to kind of pat that on my lid. It's a very pigmented shadow, but yes, I'm going to pat that. And then I'm going to go back in with my V204 and I'm just going to kind of blend that a bit and there's no product on this brush I'm just kind of blending and meshing everything together 
so yeah, I'm going to go run a couple errands. Um, I want to go to um, Aritzia. Um, I want to just see what they have. I mean, not that I need any more clothes, but you know, it's always nice to go look. Um, we're going down to like this um, shops at Don Mills area. We're going to go watch a movie there. So yeah, then I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to assume that this is number 10. And I'm just going to be taking my MAC 263 angle brush. This looks like that. And I'm just going to dip into that. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lash line. Um, This palette does have a little bit of fallout, but like nothing like insane. But the shadows are very, very pigmented. Like they're beautiful. And I actually show you guys a comparison of this palette and a KKW palette, but I also realize it kind of looks like the Makeup by Mario palette as well. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. It's a little hard for me to talk and do my liner at the same time, but here we are. We're making it. We're making it, guys. My energy is coming back. It got a burst. And then I'm going to take a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the corner of my eye like so and then i'm just gonna bring that in a little bit um i feel like this one's a little shorter let me just bring that out a little bit more yeah because that one's out a little bit more and then i'm just gonna take a little bit more i'm like barely barely dipping into it so weird the sun's going down like it was out like just bright just now and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of brush some of that into my lashes so it gives the illusion of thicker lashes. Um, when I'm going out at night, I do this with like a pencil or um, a black eyeshadow. And I just like to do that. Just so that everything's like nice and dark enough. So uh, I'll just fix that up. And then like so. And that is how my liner looks. Because I like it to make my lash line look a little full, but that is just like what it looks like. And I just like the brown because I feel like um, I didn't feel like wearing black today. Not that it's harsh, but I just didn't feel like wearing black today. So I am going to go ahead and put on my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I love these lashes. These are my favorite lashes. I wear them for going out. I like wearing them during the day. So I'm going to put on my lashes and I am going to be right back. But if you guys want to see how I do these lashes, um, I actually apply my lashes from underneath. So if you guys want to see that, I can do that for you guys in another video. Um, maybe when I'm doing the uh, review for the skin, maybe I can show you guys in that video. But yeah, so let me go put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Guys, I already finished um, one eye. Um, I'm just going to let it dry before I curl it. But just so that you guys can see when I'm looking down, you can't see that my lashes are there because I do them underneath. So I cut them into little pieces like this. And then I just put them underneath. So I'm going to finish my other eye and I'll be right back. Guys, my lashes are on. I'm going to let these dry before I go in with my lash curler to curl them. So I'm going to let them kind of dry down a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in with my Patrick Top, sorry, not Patrick Top, Patrick Star uh, Stage White Turn Up the Base Powder. I'm just going to take my um, Chanel 107 brush. I just took a little bit on my powder um, brush and I'm just going to kind of brighten up a little bit. I feel like I look a little gray, like a little dull. Um, and I think that it's because of the lighting because the sun's going down. And yeah, so I was like, let me just add a little something, something, you know? So yeah, just did that. And then next, um, no matter what, what I'm doing, where I'm going, I'm going to do a contour regardless. So I'm going to do a light nose contour. I'm taking my Kat Von D palette. Guys, this is probably expired, but this is the old trusty dusty one. It was actually Kat Von D, not KVD Beauty. So yeah, I'm going to go with the color Subconscious, this light grayish color. And I'm just going to be taking my MAC 224 brush. And I'm just going to go in a little bit here and here. Notice I'm not picking up more product. I'm just kind of blending that into my brow a little bit. And then I'm kind of just dragging that down a little bit. Because um, I don't want it to be too, too 
um, precise. I kind of want everything to be blended. When I'm going out, I like to take my MAC 210S brush and I'll go down the front of my nose. Um, but I am still going to use this brush just for like the tip of my nose. But like for the rest of my contouring, I'm just going to kind of, sorry, just do this and just kind of bring it down my nose. Like this doesn't have to be perfect. I just didn't want to pick up too much product because I want it to blend more naturally. And then I'm just going to kind of do this underneath my nose as well. Just kind of contour there like a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my um, 210S by MAC as well. I'm going to dip into it once. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to contour here. So it kind of like lifts my nose. And then I'm just going to kind of do like a little circle. Focusing on the top. And then here. So then my nose kind of has like that little button nose. I hope this is translating on camera because I feel like it's translating in person. Yeah, there we go. And then, you guys already know, I'm going to go in with another MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm going to use the same one that I used for my under eyes. I'm going to go in with NW10. And then I'm going to go in with my little cutting brush from Morphe. And this is the Morphe E16. Now, I don't know if they still sell this, but you can find something that kind of like looks like that. NW10. And I'm just going to cut on the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to let this bake for a second so that my nose can, you know, blend seamlessly together. I'm like, so, do you guys see that? So I just did that and then I'm just gonna kind of take whatever's left over and kind of just bring that in so that um, my contour blends really, really nice. Just like so, you guys see that? And then we're gonna do a little cute, Highlight down the nose. I actually think I feel like doing a shimmer highlight today. So I think we're going to do that as well. Um, so yeah, let's see. Anyways, back to the KVD palette. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia E23 brush. Um, and then I'm going to take a subconscious and I'm going to go in with that. And then I'm just going to start contouring just above my ear. Like so. And then just contouring the tops of my cheeks and my jawline. Um to give me a little bit of a slimmer illusion until we get some double chin light bulb done. So we're gonna try to eliminate that and make my fist, my fist, my face look a little slimmer. Um, so I am working on a vlog right now. Um, so when I am finished all of that, you guys will see what I'm talking about. And yeah, so that's just my contour. See how it's nice and, and high? So when I add my bronzer, it's not going to look crazy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do my double chin, bringing this back to my jaw. I want to do jaw filler again. Um, the thing is, is that when you do it, you look like handsome Squidward for a bit. But it's so worth it because your face just looks so slim. Um, but I think that I want to wait until closer to summer to get that um, to get that done. I think it'll look a lot better. Oh, guys, my lighting is so shitty because the sun's going down. Like, oh, whatever. Guys, I didn't do my forehead because I want to bronze my forehead. I don't want to contour my forehead. So, yeah, let me grab my bronzers and the blush that I want to use, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go with bronzing. I just want to show you guys sometimes what I contour with. This is the MAC Studio Fix in the color NW58. Now, I know this looks a little intimidating, but if you just use a little touch of it, it goes a long way and I like to use this for contouring, especially at night because I feel like my contour shows really, really well in pictures. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go in with the NW45 by MAC. I'm going to use this as my bronzer today. And um, I like to mix different bronzers sometimes. But um, this has just been my favorite for bronzing lately because I'm trying to bronze this big ass forehead. Um, but I do like the, um, NARS Laguna bronzer. I love how that looks on me. Now, I know a lot of people don't like it because some people are like, oh, it makes me look muddy. Um, I don't feel like it does that to me. Why is my chair squeaking? So annoying. Am I really blending that hard? Um, I just feel like, um, it blends out really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's like actually one of my favorites. And honestly, with the Laguna, sometimes like if I'm 
like traveling, like if I'm doing like a road trip or something, I usually just bring that. I don't even bring an eyeshadow palette sometimes because um, I like to use this like in my crease. This is just like a little point perk one that I had got um, and I usually throw it in my travel bag. So this will be like my bronzer and my eyeshadow and I will like blend it into my crease and then put it all over my lid as well. So um, really, really good one. Um, before I go ahead with my blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe R31 and I'm just gonna blend my nose and I'm kind of just brushing it up. Guys, I'm gonna have to get a new chair because this chair is like really annoying. I'm just gonna blend that up just so I don't have any harsh lines. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And you see how I have like my little button nose? I think it looks so cute. But we're gonna emphasize that in a second. So I'm gonna take, um, I'll wait for that. I'm gonna have to look for that brush. I don't know if I should do a highlighted nose or like a highlighted nose, sorry. Or if I should do a matte nose like I normally do. I think I'm gonna do a matte nose, but I'll think about what I wanna do in the meantime. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced uh, Cloud Crush Blush in the color Candy Clouds, just like a blue tone um, blush. And I'm taking my MAC 109 blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some blush on now I'm stopping just stopping I'm starting for the top from the tops of my cheeks guys why can't I talk like this burst of energy has me like all messed up like I can't talk properly and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more and then kind of bring it down to the apples of my cheeks and then start pulling back a little bit so I kind of look a little flushed and still like snatched at the same time and then whatever's left, I'm just going to kind of go under my eye before I have to put on mascara because I don't like when the brush kind of touches your lashes and kind of messes it up. So you can see that this eye looks a little brighter because I have some pink under there and this looks a little bit more yellow. And then the same thing on the next side. Damn. Why is my blush doing that? That's so weird. There's like chunks that kind of came out just now. But anyways, pulling back. And then just on the apples of my cheeks underneath so I don't look a little cute now I don't really like wearing my hair in a ponytail these days because I feel like my forehead's like really big but I do love a ponytail when it like snatches your face so I might just kind of rock my big ass forehead today we'll kind of see what's what the vibe is <laughs> so we'll see and yeah. so have some blush on and then let's do our nose highlight Okay, so for my nose highlight, I'm using the brush um, Morphe 212 brush. It's just a small little brush that looks like this. And I'm taking my Patrick Star Stage White and I'm just going to highlight down my nose. This is really nice for an inner corner highlight as well, guys. You guys can see that already. I'm going to blend this out really nice. So just like a little exclamation point. And then this kind of just gives you that lifted nose. You guys can see that already. Don't mind how white it is. Don't be scared. Trust the process. And then I'm just going to kind of blend this. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of. So it looks like it's shimmery, but it's not. It's actually just matte. And there we go. Everything is blended cute. I don't know why the angle looks really stupid, but like, I feel like my nose looks dark here, but like in person looking at myself, it doesn't look like that. Why? What the hell is going on? That's so weird. Sorry guys, I'm just adding a little bit more. So done with that now i'm gonna line my um lash line with a little bit of my laguna point perk bronzer here in the color laguna number two i'm gonna just i was gonna use the skin but i was like nah. whatever we're just gonna use a bronzer and i'm just gonna take an angle brush this is a very old old benefit brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and just just deepen my lash line a little bit. Be careful doing this, especially if you guys wear contact lenses. Um, yeah, I'm just putting a little bit so my mascara has something to add a little bit of depth to. And then I'm also going to curl my lashes because I feel like they're pretty dry now. And um, we're going to put some mascara. Guys, I love the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Um, mascara, but I found a new one that I want to 
add to one of my favorites. Um, I got a point perk of this. Oh, sorry, that's a bad gal bang. That's a little travel size one. Um, I took it with me when I went to um, Florida and it's the Fenty Beauty one. This one hits so, so good, guys. Like, highly, highly recommend. I'm definitely gonna get the big size. Um, and I did like this one for my fake lashes. This is the Benefit Fan Fest. I did like that, but if you guys know me, Bad Gal Bang is where it's at. This is my favorite mascara of all time. Um, I usually get the travel sizes because um, I just feel like sometimes mascara can expire very fast. And obviously when you're messing with the eye, you don't want to let that happen. Um, but anyways, I'm going to squeeze my lashes and then I'm going to be using this tweezer man. Don't mind how dirty and dingy this is, but this is a tweezer man. Um, eyelash curler i love this one i bought a bunch of these on amazon like i have so many backups because sephora used to carry lash curlers that looked like this like they're a little bit more smaller and they discontinued them and they just have like those wide xl ones and i hate those and because i have lashes that point down i need my lashes to be up and i like them to be more up and i don't like anything that's too catty because i have smaller eyes and i like to, to look a little bit more doll eyed so yeah i'm just gonna squeeze these and then curl them and i'll show you guys the difference between each eye okay so just give me one second do you guys see that these are all pushed up because i let the glue dry and i squeeze them together first so like i was doing this just to make sure everything was squeezed and then i go ahead and then curl my lashes let me see if i can do this on camera so just like so and then just squeeze squeeze and without trying to disturb what's underneath and then my lashes go up and um Again, guys, this was the Wispies. I don't know if I told you guys that. These are the Wispies. And I like how like up they are right now. So I am going to go in with a little bit of my Fenty Beauty. And I'm just going to touch some of those. Also, guys, when I'm curling my lashes, I only curl right at the base so that my false lashes and my real lashes could stand up. And then I'm going to curl these one more time again because I really, really want my lashes to be like, you know, up. So I'm just going to go ahead and just touch this with a little bit of my Fenty Beauty Mascara. Love, love, love this mascara. I'm so glad that they have point perks because it really lets you try out products to see if there's things that like you really like. This is definitely a product that I really do like. And I like to layer my mascaras, especially like my bottom lashes. Um, my bottom lashes, I like to use the MAC um, Extended Play Giga Giga Black Lash. And it's just like a smaller brush because it really gets into there. So... Yeah, I really like those. Like, my lashes are long, but my lashes are fine. So I like things that can kind of give them a little bit of volume. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just finish my mascara. And then I'm going to let this dry, recurl them, and then I'll be back for lips. Back really quick. I just want to show you guys how fine my lashes are. But, like, they're long. So I like to just... That's just one coat of the Giga Black Lash by MAC. And, um, yeah, I tried to just get in right at the base there. Oh, my God. Not me thinking that I have, like, supervision that I can see that far to my mirror right here. So, let me just um, open this one and just show you guys. That's just one coat. But, like, I'm just kind of trying to spread my lashes out. And the Bad Gal Bang mixed with this at the bottom chef's kiss you guys just finished lining my lips i used the skin by kim uh, lip liner in the color nude eight love 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 this uh it's not as creamy as the other kkw ones but this is pretty creamy it is pretty it is pretty nice um it did break a little bit um but just because it's me i'm gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury lip cheat in the color iconic nude Yes, iconic nude. I just want to fill in a little bit more. Just right here. Just like so. Okay. And then I'm going to use this Sephora lipstick as a little bit of a base. This is the Lip Stories in the color number 67. It's a metal. It's just a little pinky color like that. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that. It's a little metallic color. Hmm. I should have maybe cleaned some of my foundation lips. Mm, it's okay. And then I'm going to go with the um, Makeup by Mario Pink Glow. This stuff, guys. Absolutely amazing. I just feel like doing more of like a pinky nude lip today. 
kind of like in that vibe. And I love how glossy this shit makes your lips look. And I like to do more glossy when my hair is tied back. Because uh, then my hair is not like getting all in it. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Cotton Candy Lip Gloss. I'm doing more of like a pink vibe today. Like a pinky nude. These lip glosses are so pigmented and they're so glossy and they last really, really long. That's what I love about these. I actually have a lot of these ones. Um, back in the day when she launched her lip glosses, there was one called Gilded. I still have it to this day. It's a little broken, but I just can't seem to like let it go. But I really, really, really love that lip gloss. When I went to Mexico, I wore that nonstop and everybody's like, what the hell are you wearing? It's just my favorite so that is my lip combo i'm just gonna set my face and then um get dressed um actually i'm gonna show you guys my setting spray i'm gonna set my face with the morphe continuous setting mist this was i think a limited edition one this is in the, the flavor coconut bliss i'm just gonna use this just so my skin looks a little bit more skin like it smells so coconutty i love it just like makes me think of like summer vibes And then, yeah, so guys, this is my finished look. Sorry, guys, I'm just gonna, I'm that extra. I'm gonna use a fan. I just have to. So guys, this is my finished look. Um, I'm gonna go sleek my hair and get ready to go. I'm currently wearing this skim set. I actually have one of skims bras you guys can kind of see, but I also have the, um, the fold over pant and I have it in different colors. And this is really comfy. So I may or may not wear this. Or I might wear some TNA leggings and a Skims sweater. So we'll see. And then I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. I just put on a black hoodie that I had. It's just some like regular schmegular one. My hair's a little dirty, but I put a little bit of dry shampoo so it might work. Even though I don't like to wear a lip gloss with my hair down, we're going to make it work. Um, just kind of doing like a little movies, like kind of like girls, like evening i should say because the sun's down now so like an evening thing we're gonna kind of go for dinner go for movies um do a little bit of shopping so um because the malls close at nine and it's only like honestly i think like five o'clock and the sun's like down already it sucks because the sun was actually out all day today but anyways so this is my look guys i hope you guys enjoyed um it's just like a little light makeup natural makeup look so i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for my next video um i think i'm doing this skin review and then hopefully i should have a vlog ready for you guys soon because i do want to start vlogging guys be a little patient with me because i'm just doing some research on some lighting and camera because right now i'm currently using my iphone to film so um i will um get some better lighting and some better camera quality and i will see you guys in the next one